Hello everyone, it's Mrs Dove here. I hope you had a good weekend. Well, last week we started thinking about moving into year one. And you had some videos, you've seen your messages from your class teachers, and I showed you some photographs last week of the things in the year one classrooms that are very much the same as what you're used to in your classrooms now. But lots of you had questions. Quite rightly so. It's all new and it's different and it's really good to ask questions because then it stops us worrying. So all the teachers from your classes, if you were in school last week, they sent me a list of the things that you'd like to know more about and some of you at home sent in questions to me as well. So I've spent some time and I've talked to Mrs Maynard um, because she's an expert on year one, being a year one teacher and she's given me lots of information which I'm going to share with you today. So let's find out a little bit more about what it's like to be in year one. The first thing you wanted to know more about was your classrooms. So what will the classroom look like? What will the desks be like and where would you sit? And also, where are the toilets? Now, the one thing we have to remember is at the moment, we're still not too sure what school will look like when we all come back in September. At the moment, Mrs Clements and lots of the other teachers are working hard to think about how they can make our school as safe as possible for everyone to come back in September. So the, th the answers that I give you today, some of those things may change when we come back in September. But there's a very good, there'll be very good reasons why things have changed and everyone will do their absolute best to ma still make school a really, really fun place to be. But it may look a little bit different to how things have looked before and it might be a little bit different to the answers I'm going to give you now. But we'll be able to cope with that because we'll have our lovely teachers and all of our friends back with us. Okay. So what will the classrooms look like? Well, they will look pretty much like what you're already used to. So there are tables, there will be boxes for put, to put your belongings in, just like you do now. And there's lots of things that are already the same. And we've seen pictures of that, like the maths meeting wall and the home corner for you to play in in activity time. The desks. It's likely that they will be grouped together and you will sit, you will have a space at one of those desks and that will be your place. But just like we do in reception now, when you have a space on the carpet, your space will change every maybe every week every two weeks and you'll get a chance to be sat near somebody different so that's good now the toilets the children that have been in England and Scotland this year the toilets are exactly the same toilets that you've been using so if you've been over in Wales and Northern Ireland the toilets are different because they're the toilets in the main building the ones right next to the office so I think we all know where those are. Let's move on to the next question. Right. So your next question was about playtime and lunch times. How are these different to in reception? Well, this one is a little bit tricky because it does depend on whether things have to kind of stay as they are now or whether we can go back to how it was before all of these changes had to happen. So if it stays as things are now, then you will have your break times and your lunch times with your class. And everyone will have a special time in the day that they get to go out and have their break time, their play time and their lunch time. Obviously the difference to being in reception is that that time you will be out on the big playground, so not in the um, reception garden you'll have a space on the big playground to explore and have fun with your friends so if things go back to how they were before then that is different to what we're used to even in reception 
So at your playtime, you would have your snack out on the playground whilst you're playing and running around and having lots of fun. So it's really important that you remember to have your snack and a drink at playtime because you can't just get that at other times during the day. And then when it's lunchtime, you would be out on the big playground and this is where it is quite different to what we've been used to. So the middays, someone has a very big loud bell and they ring that. You might have heard that when you've been out. Um, and they ring that bell and then they hold up a picture of your class flag. So it's really important that you recognise the flag for your class and they'll call your class name. And when you hear the bell, you go and line up and then it's your time to go and have lunch in the dining hall. Now, in the dining hall, the only thing that would be different is I think you have a different tray in when you're in year one. I think it's a bit bigger than the trays you had in reception, which might mean you get a little bit more lunch. I don't know. Okay, well, I hope that's answered your questions about playtime and lunch times. But with this one, we are going to just have to kind of wait and see what happens when we come back. But it will be fine because everyone will be there to help you. You also wanted to know about clubs. Now, we're really not sure whether clubs will be able to run in September, but as soon as we can, we'll get them up and running so that there's things for you to do at lunchtime if you don't want to be out on the big playground. Just like in reception, there were clubs run by myself and Mrs Corrigan and Mrs Cross and Mrs Bygrave and um, Mrs Crombie. We all run lunchtime clubs. So the teachers in Key Stage 1, so that's years 1 and 2, run lunchtime clubs as well, which you, you'd be able to go to. And those are just drop-in sessions, so you don't have to reserve a place. It's just if you don't fancy being out on the playground one day, you could see if you could go along to one of those clubs. Lots of them may be the same as what we did in reception, so I think colouring club is quite popular and construction club, but there will be some new ones that um, you haven't experienced in reception. Mr Horn runs an ICT club, so with the computers, and this year there was a board games club and there was reading club so there's some different things that you could do at lunchtime. The same for after school clubs. I'm sure Mrs Cooper will get things up and running with the different after school clubs as soon as she can and some of those clubs that you could choose from will be the same as we've had in receptions like performing arts and um, multi-sports club but There'll be other ones that will be open to you as a year one as well, like cross country, like arts and crafts, like karate and netball. So clubs might not be running straight away when we start back in September, but we'll do our best to get them up and running as soon as it's safe for everyone. Okay, so I think I've saved the, probably the most important question for last. And that was, how much activity time do you get and what sort of things do you get to do in activity time? Well, the good news is you still get activity time. Mrs Maynard um, told me to tell you that you'll still get lots of activity time, but it's not really specific times during the day. So your teachers will find time in their timetable when is right for them to allow you to have activity time. So you might have activity time in class Spain at a different time to the children in class Canada. But there will be lots of it during the week. So don't worry, you still get some, some activity time. In activity time, you'll get to do things that are very similar to what you've done in reception. So you can do craft activities. You might want to do some drawing and colouring or sticking and cutting, those sorts of things. Um, there's construction toys for you to play with, there's the home corner which you can play in, there's um, small world toys and board games and puzzles and also reading. So you might want to just choose books from the reading corner and sit quietly and, and read and look at books. So just like in reception, what 
you choose to do in activity time is up to you. You must remember as well though that in your year one classrooms the space is, is smaller than what you're used to in reception so there isn't the room for running around and playing so the activities that you choose to do you will really sit at your desks at your tables um, and do that. You won't necessarily have to sit in your space because it's activity time and if you want to play board games with your friend who normally sits on the other side of the classroom you'll find a space and do that. Um, so I hope that's put your minds at rest about activity time. It's not going anywhere just yet. We still have activity time in year one. Well I thought lastly it would be really good for you to hear from a real year one. So I've managed to get a very helpful young lady to tell us her favourite things about being in year one and give you the inside view of being a year one. So I'm going to say goodbye and hand over to my very helpful assistant. Take care everyone. Bye bye. Hello. Hi Laurie. Can you tell us what the classrooms are like in year one, please? You have desks and you don't sit on, on carpets anymore, but you still have a learning partner. Oh, lovely. What lessons do you have in year one? You still have phonics and other lessons. What are the other lessons? Math, English, um, PSHP, art, and some history. Oh, super. And some science. And science. What about PE? It's really fun that you hop in and out really and and hop around really busy and jump in different ways and run and run around the um the square. Ah. And do you um do you have a coach in PE? Yes, but And what about activity time? You still have activity time on Tuesdays afternoon, Wednesdays afternoon and Fridays afternoon. Oh, lovely. And what's your favourite thing about year one that you can tell us? I like, um, I like learning new things. Thank you.